Here's your toilet brush. It's kind of covered in barbecue sauce, but, you know. I'm sure you're still happy and just thought that counts. That doorman is just so suspicious looking. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if he had like a snake tongue. A parcel mouth. Hi. Nice club you've got here. I was what? wondering if you could help me. Stop. What? I mean, I beg your pardon? I'm sorry, but I don't understand. No surprise there, alrighty. He says sorry, but he not speak English. Uh, but he didn't say anything. He not have tongue. No tongue? What happened? It was bet. Ah, and he lost. He won. You should see other chappy. Oh, yes. Here's your brush, sir. It wasn't easy getting it back. <laughs> Whoa, what's he doing under the desk there? Yeah, I don't wanna know. The manager took the brush from me, gave me the toilet keys as my reward, and stopped off. Oh yeah, now we got the toilet keys. Now we can drive the bull's head. Manager, he say, ah, look at state of this. Need much cleaning and detergent before go around my domain. He said all that? Body language account for much, you know? Oh yes, indeedy. That you bend in no. my wife runs, if you know what I mean. Go in the bathroom! Go in the... Why are you not... Taking now, the forward pass? We're gonna go give the toilet brush, or give the toilet keys to somebody in exchange for $50, I'll bet ya. Probably Dwayne. Dwayne's like, I haven't gone to the bathroom in a week, George. Or his wife, she complained yeah, about her yeah. digestion. He complained about her digestion, yeah, yeah. They both did. We steal a kebab, force it down their throats, and then we're like, yeah, you ever want to shit in peace again? <laughs> yeah, I still think... I mean, even if that's what the game's doing, I would try the key. Right. Oh, who's that? I'm an elf. It's just some surfer dude hanging out in the. Oh, I see. We gotta time it with the ball. Gotta hit the dude. I guess so. And the cat runs away. Hi, Joe. And knock something on the ground. Hello again, sir. And how may I help you this time? Is that your father lurking in the back of the stand? He is indeed. A roaring fellow. Ayup's his name. You don't sound like you respect him very much. Don't I? Not only do I respect him, I rather like him. For all his bluster, we get on very well. I haven't killed him what once. What happened to your ball, Nijo? I regret to say that it has been confiscated by my father. You oh, were there, George. George. Sorry. Not to worry, sir. Soon he will forget why he has the ball and put it on the stand. At which point, I shall recover it. I'm sorry about the statuette being broken as well. Again, do not fret, sir. It has been on the shelf for a long time. At least as 600 years. Dun, 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 dun. Legs. Now it hasn't got any arms either. Very droll, sir. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. Is it the Venus de Milo? Because the statue with the arm is broken off. The plaster seems to soak up the grease paint until it began to look like stone. Uh, Hello again, So girl. we used grease paint Hello, on George. It's such a, a statue and it looks like stone? What? What do you think of this fire fitting an artifact statuary? Oh, I see. my fact, just what I've been looking for. Would you like it? 
Would I ever? I'm not carrying the money, though. If you go and find Dwayne, he'll pay you for it. If he gives you any trouble, just tell him that I want it. I've got to go now, Pearl. So, it's been a pleasure, George. did the toilet Don't keys play at all? Dwayne will probably give him some resistance. Hi there, Dwayne. From way over there. Hey, George. What can I do for you? Hi there, George. How can I help you, young fella? What do you think of this? Good gravy. Looks old. Yeah, I had to turn this town upside down. Boy, your luck's better than ours. Looks Roman. I wouldn't know. What'll they say back home? It's not Roman, it doesn't do have any want, legs. George? Oh, I couldn't. It has it's to stand the find still. of a lifetime. I, I, mean, I yeah. 50 yeah. bucks. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. Here you go. Well, that worked out well. Are you sure you don't want to hear some of my one-liners first, George? Because I have about 20 minutes okay, worth programmed into me. Okay, well, I'll see you around, Wayne. Count on it, George. And back up the stairs. Arto's just forlorn. I mean, he has no future now. Arto might as well kill himself. That's in the next chapter. This music is so, so desultory. At least the music in here Hello is going to happen. Car. Praise be to Allah. I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more. Oh, he remembers it. I Humble get paid spirit. by the word. Are you desirous of seeing this most splendid place? Well, maybe. A terrific bargain. Only 50 of your Yankee bucks. 50, huh? Okay, it's a deal. Here's the cash. What about the bathroom? Ah, most splendid. He's gonna be like, oh, I need to go before we leave, but sadly... Mister, we make with haste. Where exactly is your taxi? Because the only vehicle I can see around here is an aging army surplus truck. Could we even see that? I don't remember seeing one. Okay, I'll be along in a minute. Let me go purge. Whoa. That didn't seem right to take off. Got a spring in my step. So I left them on the bar. So that was totally pointless. That was just to get the kid the ball so that he uh, could knock over the statue. Got it. But that, I mean, that's that's really the worst kind of adventure okay, puzzle no there. I mean, there's no... Most splendid and adventurous client. No. Uh, makes no sense. That's your taxi? Oh, yes. Most assuredly. Most entirely splendid taxi in all Marib. It looks like an old army truck to me. We've been through this. You Americans with your checkerboard caps and your jet hashes. You have lost sight of what it takes. <laughs> wow, to that's a dated in. reference. About four tons by the Even in 2000, it. I think there, that was a dated you have reference. Hit the nail in the nutshell. Okay, already, let's go. Regrettably not, most hit the nail in the nutshell. Fair. There is a minor problem of a tiny nature. My the penis. penis has taken it upon itself <laughs> to break. So, what are you going to do? What can I do? I must wait for a ride to the garage for a replacement. How long is that going to take? One day, maybe six. I can't wait that long. We've got to get moving. But how, my friend? I'll think of something. Now for the Stay around, old car. There you, most splendid good sirs. The kebab man stole the fan belt. Maybe the kebab man has some, like, extra tough sausage casings. Oh, we're gonna go up and we're gonna go enter the toilet and the toilet paper is gonna be strong enough to work as a fan belt. Well, now he's just holding the thing open for him. Yeah. It's me again. Uruba. Hello, sir. Did he actually get that Does this mean him? anything to you? Yes, yes. Carpet, yes. What? Ma what did he show 
Um, just anything in the inventory, I think. Does this mean anything to you? <laughs> A pineapple. How, how about the... You know anything about the Knight's Templar? What about this rubber ball? He could have stuck... Going into the bathroom first, I think this little subplot would have annoyed me less. But, I don't know, it might not have let you. Might have been like, I have no reason to enter the bathroom, I'm George Stolberg. I suspect it was just um, our player knowing the shortest path forward. Uh, whereas I think a lot of people would have gone to the bathroom first. And then you would have seen whatever he's looking for, and then later on you'd think like, oh wait, didn't I see a fan belt in the bathroom? I, I was, was totally not paying attention. What did he get? Uh, the, uh, from the, what do you call it, the thing you wipe your hands on. Towel? The, it had like a little, you know, it was like the air vent one, except like it was a rotating... Thing, so he got that. So it was pretty close with saying the uh, toilet paper. Okay. I'm just here waiting for a little thief to cheat. I don't think this would in any way, shape, or form. Hello again, Oplar. His most splendid and adventurous client. Is this any use to you? My friend, the very thing, yes! I've heard of people rigging, like, pantyhose as a makeshift uh, fan belt Cut and that sort of thing. And gave me half All right. With his half, he did the kind of fan belt replacement that's normally oh, done the stock. <laughs> now, if I knot the ends together, so... Serviceable, yes? Very serviceable indeed. Stockings might work on a Bentley, but on a truck, the coarse toweling did the job nicely. Come along, my friend. You want to see the bull's head? Yes! Oh, God. Yeah, all, every red inch of it, I guess. The graphic. <laughs> that? Um, huh. That animation did not, like, does not quite move like a truck. Look, we can do 3D animation, sure. It's like a Monty Python animation. It's just like the Matrix. Yep, that's a bull's head. Yeah, I'm gonna go down the throat of the bull's head, if you know what I mean. Man, you hear that noise out in the desert, it's never a good sign. Yeah, I was gonna say, that doesn't sound like what you would hear in Desert Land, but... Here in Desert Land, sounds like a bad Nick Cave album. It, it probably is. Marco! Rubio! Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of my thought as well. I. Oh. In the hole. Okay, first touch the bush. Pluck <laughs> the bush. Smoke the, the bush. Shave the bush. Shove it in your jacket. By the way, you're overdressed for the weather. Or climate, anyway. With a flourish. I tied the end of the towel to the stick with a textbook reef knot. Um, from the famous textbook reefs of Calcutta. I could see that crack would make a good anchor point. No, yeah. to say no to crack. That towel well, keeps growing that exponentially. Really safe, but I had no choice. No I choice. I anticipated going mountaineering when I'd come to Syria. Why not, George? <laughs> you seem really underprepared for no matter what you would have found. Uh, now he can't reach it. Uh, 
I'm at the bull's head. I didn't head. like the idea of putting my hand in there. Then don't. But there was something in there. A metal ring. As wide as my hand. Nope, it's a snake. Total snake head. <laughs> I took a firm hold the of the ring. The bull's nose ring. And pulled. Cock ring. Whoa there. That is not how you spell whoa at all. If you pull my ring, I open up too, if you know what I mean. Around the corner, I found the corpse. <laughs> That's a good first line for a noir novel. It really is. Oh my god. It's Indiana Jones Lovely, without his shirt. Large as life and twice as dead. I'd hardly had time to accept the fact when I heard the door mechanism start up again. Run. Oh man, no! The door had slammed shut, trapping me. I died I there next to Klausner. How Klausner had died. Shirtless? I mean, I couldn't think of anything to do with the statue, apart from scaring small children with it. There's a statue of a penis in the back. Stone head, bearing three bearded faces. It was a strange image, but a powerful one, redolent with antiquity. And Ooh, ancient riddle. mysteries. Sure was an ugly one, though. Without getting too close, I couldn't see any marks of violence, apart from his fingertips being scraped raw, Ooh. and that seemed self-inflicted. Klausner had been pretty smart to get this far, but he was still dead. It says he's pretty smart to get that far. All right. Most people. I've done more fun things yes. in my life than searching a corpse. But as my life expectancy wasn't great, I figured I should try every new challenge that came my way. So, necrophilia? Hey, what's this? It's his nipples. I found some kind of lens. A very old lens made from a very hard glass. How do you know that it's a hard glass? The knight on the manuscript had been holding a lens the whole time, not a crystal ball. He had already established this, or you wouldn't even be here. That glass was turgid. Up on the wall was an inscription, partially eroded by the ages. And? There was a young man from Nantucket. Something, something, in Occidenta Sita Est, in Ora Mundi. In the mouth of the earth there the is the was place? But what did it mean? In the west. The mouth's opening. It must be Ultar. My god. If he comes in, we'll both be trapped. Ultar, don't come in. It's a trap. Stay where you are. You. Hello, Mr. Stobart. We meet in the most unusual I hope he gets trapped in here and then some other guy with a gun comes Please. in. <laughs> Do not make any sudden moves. I have no desire to maim you. What do you Did think? You Is the door going to... Maim? Fall on his head. Dead men tell no tales. Maybe it's not normally what you do with a gun. And what if I guess you could shoot him in the foot, right? Then I shall most regrettably have to kill you. Rest assured, however, that I am an excellent shot. You would not suffer. Oh, that's good. Uh, believe me, I'm really assured. It is rather dark in here. I think. We should conduct our business outside. Okay. Why should I make myself an easier target? If I fire at you, Mr. Stobart, I shall hit you even in here. But, unfortunately, my marksmanship will suffer. It could be the difference between hitting you in the leg and the balls. Oh, well, I guess Boy, it could go. It's <laughs> hot in here. No sudden moves, Mr. Stobart. And the door closes. Well, it's a lot of effort to get to this set now piece, then, and it seems like there's not enough payoff. How yeah, it's like a Gabriel Knight set piece. It's like it lasted for like 25 you know, minutes, and as boring as it was, at least we got a lot of use out of it. And this is just oh, devil or angel? We can kill yep. him or save him, maybe. Just around the corner of the cave. You want to look? I'll take your word for it. How did he die? I wonder what devil is. Do we throw him off the, by the look of it. off the cliff? He was caught in this trap you were shouting about. 
Yes, I suspected as much. The Templars were not ones to give away their secrets lightly. Was he carrying anything of importance? Yeah. Recipe for really he was great cold slaw. Some sort of lens. I've got it with me. Give it to me. Now, I don't why would we think say so. that? Don't be a fool, Mr. Stobart. If I give it to you, what's to stop you killing me? What is to stop me killing you anyway? You might hit the lens. Not if I shoot you in the head. What when if I, I put it on my eye like a monocle? Broken. Yes. Every time it's hmm, this you guy says yes. convincingly, Mr. Stobart. Perhaps you will live to see another day. Or Perhaps. die another day. Was there anything else? Coleslaw, I told you. Well, Come on, go for the Latin devil. On the wall. What did it say? In Acadenta Sita Est, in Ora Mundi. He remembered it well for ah, someone who doesn't speak Latin. Caesar. Yeah, no yes, kidding. Yes, that makes sense. Well, I know that roughly it means to the west, to the edge of the world. But what the to heck the is west, that about? To the west, to the west. It tells me where the sword of Perfomet lies. Mr. Stobart, I am sure that you are just what you appear yeah. to be. A Except gifted amateur. Okay, that Thanks, I amateur. Think. But I can no longer tolerate your interference. When a little there is far more there. at stake than you realize. I cannot risk you inadvertently Whoa. helping my enemies. I heard so too. what are you going to do? I regret that we must end this here and now. With what a kiss. What exactly do you mean? I am a professional. You will feel no I've used that pain. line before. Oh man. You're gonna kill me? Your only choice now is whether you die like a man or like a dog. It sounds a little excited. Oh good, we have the option down there as a of dog. Okay, you're the boss. I'll take my medicine. You are an honorable man, Mr. Stobart. A rare breed. Geekmeister keeps picking the things that I would yeah. not pick if I were playing well, this, so I really am curious what the other choices the would have given us. It was a long way down. Below, I could see Ultar's truck. Don't land on the truck. <laughs> <laughs> he had a joy buzzer. Yep. Right. I actually should have seen that coming if I remembered. Point about shaking his hand. Yeah, I can Nico. Luckily, the canopy on Ultar's truck broke my travels fall. really fast. Thank goodness. Yep, he does. The worst part of the experience was Ultar's driving. What about the lens? Is it still in one? You should have seen. It was so oh, yeah. weird when that truck well, moved through the valley. It was like it was bigger really? than the surrounding area. Well, I have to say, I'd have enjoyed Syria a lot more if you'd been there. And maybe oh, sit somewhere where you can look her in the face anyway, instead of the you back could of her head. Fine on your own. You're right, I did do fine on my own. I'm pretty Have awesome. Have you any idea what this lens might be used for? As a magnifying glass, obviously. Just like the one you use repeatedly in this Let's game. Let's take another look at the manuscript. That was very, uh, Blue's Clues there. Let's take another look at the manuscript, kids. Can you figure it out? Sad that Blue's dead now. That's the face of the statue I saw at the bull's head. Oh yeah. Did I tell you I went I'll right down the bull's throat? Okay. Oh, we're gonna see that lady knitting again. Nope, I bet we don't. Ah, you win. 